What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Blue Bug, back with a new episode of Honey, I Joined a Cult. Happy to be back. Happy to be here playing some more. Uh, yeah. We need another person. 20%? That's all it gives us? Okay, we're gonna have to wait for some of these other people to be, like, off there. Off there, like, break. Because that is not enough. That's a good squad. Okay, that's what I thought. Going to the graveyard. So, if I'm counting out right... You now have access to special darkness item acquisition missions. I have received word of a number of ancient grand relics that are somewhere in the city. Darkness special item. Okay, well, I just sent a whole crew to do that, so... An absolute army, really. So let's hope they come back with a good item. This one's pretty good. Maybe we should get this person to join. Oh, let's kick someone out. Uh, so long, Ali Best. You just joined, didn't you? What did I name a second person, Ali Best? You literally just joined. Okay, Ali Best. Uh, we'll name someone new Ali Best because I think she literally joined last episode. And I'm not going to do that to her. Who do you think I am? I'm not a villain. Except the fact that I did just, you know, kick her out. Hmm. This person's just not coming in today to show their... Thank you. I was going to say, maybe you don't deserve to be a member of our... Ah, ah. Not William McConnell. That's Noah. Ben Bibbits, definitely. Oh, no. Who just joined? Alexander? Ab no. Oh, no. I didn't. John Pet. Nope. Unless it's Alexander. I don't remember this. Wait, what's your. It's definitely Alexander. Right? Where are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It must be you. What are you, anyways? Average. Okay. Oh, this is going to be now Ali Best. Because I believe I just added her last episode, and she's already getting kicked out. So I feel guilty. Uh, we're going to give him espionage. Nice. In case you guys want to know how my leveling up works, I'm not. I got no ri rhyme or reason for what I'm leveling up in reality. I click something, and we level it up. What a cult. This place is coming along. I'd love someone with more than one good trait. But, you know. So, I'm kind of thinking. One, it's almost Halloween. So, if Halloween already passed... It, oh, it, wait. It definitely passed. I assume... So, as I mentioned in my last episode, of me and the lady are going to a murder mystery party tonight. And then we're going to a... What else are we going to? Murder mystery and... Oh, a normal Halloween party. And we're going as Howell and Sophie from Howell's Moving Castle. Recommend it. Go watch it. Uh, I imagine we had a great time. I hope you guys also had a good Halloween. Uh, I'm recording this all on the Friday. So, you know... What is that? That's pretty cool looking, though. Nice. Is that what it gave us? Cross? Let's see if we can uh, cross. I feel like that goes in the ch church, but I don't know where. You know what I'm thinking? I think it goes here. We're going to move objects. We snag this. We move this over here. Put that back. And we're going to have to move this photo above that. Nice. Everyone knows who we are. But I hope you guys had a good Halloween. I've always been a big Halloween guy. I like Halloween. I think it's fun. I think it's uh, an enjoyable time every time. Like, who doesn't like Halloween? I believe, I know, you guys are going to be sad. Uh, this was probably one of my most successful series ever. But this might be my last episode 
At least until they give us more content. Once they give us more content, no. Just know that I will be playing this again. 96, is that enough? I think that's enough. Starshot, go do me, go do me good. But uh, I believe this will be my last video of this series as we are on part 20. Games made a great run. I've really enjoyed it. But uh, I feel like we've kind of, we're kind of like maxing out the content at this point. And I don't really know what else I could do. So in the future, I might revisit this cult or I would even consider doing a new cult on like game release or if they do a massive update. Well, I just have to be realistic with the games I'm playing and it's just, I just need a, yeah, I, I, I'm, I need, I need to kill some of my series and I want them to be killed in like a, like a valiant way. And I don't just want to stop recording like I've done before. So I'm letting you guys know that this is probably going to be my last episode of this series until we revisit it in the future when I, when we get some nice spicy, good update, but I believe they're going to do a real good job keeping this game off. Uh, keeping this game in shape i can already tell they're uh, already giving us a lot of updates nothing that's gonna complete any of these tasks right now contract room that's interesting we'll start uh studying for that ant was injured dirty hands dirty hands just wash your hands like dirty hands really wash your hands like, we're in a pandemic. I guess, It doesn't look like we're in one in the game. But in real life, <laughs> the least you could do is wash your hands. Someone gained a trait. Let's go. I take it back. Let's not go. Why do they keep giving us bad traits? Eight and seven, they still aren't a hundred percent. Wow. What about PR? Six and three? That's terrible. Okay, yeah, I guess we're gonna have to wait more. Hmm. Huh. Another ant was injured. Green slime ex dirty hands while eating. Of course. Like, do I need to put sink I feel like I can't put sinks anywhere else though. Gate of trait, sunny disposition. I have a sunny disposition. I remember a story time. Uh, I was I used to work at H and M Classic. You know, very me. I'm a you know I'm a people's person. I'm pretty good at what I do. Uh, get a job at H and M. I'm working there. I meet this girl, uh, and she is annoyed with me. And I'm like, why are you annoyed with me? And I could tell she was kind of, like, a little sour towards me. I was like, I don't even know this girl. Like, I was like, I'm like, I think I was, like, 18 or 19 at the point. I think I had, yeah, I definitely had a girlfriend because I had a girlfriend, like, that whole time. And I was like, I don't know what's wrong. I'm, sa I'm saying I didn't date the girl, my coworker. I don't know why I'm saying this, but whatever. doesn't matter. Uh, and she's just being sour and bitter. I'm like, what is up? And she go and, like, a year later, uh, like, I worked there for, like, over a year. And she's like, she's like, why are you like that? I'm like, like what? And she's like, why are you so fake happy? I was like, what do you mean fake happy? And I think, and she thought me like being my normal jolly self was me like bullshitting everyone at work. And I was like, nope, <laughs> not it at all. This is just how I am. And I think that made her even more mad. She was, she wasn't a happy person. And I would always go into work like, eh, it's work, whatever. Smile on the face, you know, crack jokes with the customers. Just do my normal thing. And she hated it. And I just thought it was funny that later she was like, I think eventually she came around. But she's like, but she thought I was faking it the whole time. And I was just like going in with a face. With like, I'm freaking like, just, just acting fake and i was like nope this is just how i am she was so mad about it i don't know i'm like why well, if you're gonna work a job uh, you might as well like at least you know try and have a good time i remember there i would always uh 
I'd always go into work, and this is such a such a funny way. And I remember telling my managers, and they always said it was weird. I was like, I don't care what you think. Clearly, uh, I was uh, going into work, and anytime I was on register at H and M, I'd always pick a topic of conversation. I'd like go in actively, being like, okay, I'm gonna talk about this today. Like if it's a Sunday, I'd be like, all right, I'm just gonna talk about the Patriots. And, like, keep cracking jokes about the Pats. Or if it's, like, really cold out, I'll, or if it's raining out, I'll make, I'll say some comments about, I don't know, the weather. I don't know. Something about flooding. I don't know. I'd, I'd just pick a topic and talk about it, and I'd literally make, like, a script. So every time I met a customer, I would kick it off exactly the same. I'd be like, oh, winter coat, great great time to buy this it's it is pretty cold out today i had to shovel myself out this morning it was rough and then i they'd always be like oh, i had to shove myself out too and i would always like pick <laughs> just <laughs> i would really go in with this conversation starter and i would say it to every single customer and one of my coworkers called me on it, and they're like why do you say the same why do you say the same thing i was like well because it's the easiest way for me to have a conversation. I just pick a script and I go with it every day. And it makes the customers usually happy. And it usually, if nothing else, I give myself a good time. I don't know. It's just a, it's, it's bad for you to go, even into a job like that, retail. It was a retail job as like just a normal cashier with like no, no opportunity to grow. Like there's no opportunity to grow, at least not for me because I wasn't staying in retail at the time well i'm still not staying in retail but there's no opportunity to grow for me because i didn't want to be a manager or anything i was like why would you go into that job hating it like find enough like especially for jobs like that level like just find a new job i don't know when you get higher and you like get into like more i don't get into bigger positions it's kind of different because you really Sometimes it's not as easy to find a job, but like on those lower income jobs, if you don't like H&M or you don't like Marshalls or those are both places I worked, which is why they came to mind. Just go to another clothing store. I don't know. None of them are going to pay you significantly more or significantly less than any of the other ones. Or at least I don't think so. I don't know. My my little my little bro's looking for a job right now, and he just and he's trying to get a job at Target because at least over here they start at like fifteen or sixteen dollars an hour. I'm like, how? That's insane. That feels really high to me. Clearly, everyone deserves to make a living wage, just to just to make that clear. But I'm just like, it feels insane that that's what they're offering, like, just anyone. And my brother has, he has no working experience. I was just, like, surprised that that's what they're offering everyone. I was like, huh, good deal. Good for them. I can get your bag, buddy. I didn't mean to demolish crap. So now what we're going to do that and then we go delete wall nice uh we're gonna expand this but yeah so i guess getting a job at like a target or something is actually kind of a kind of a good good, good little gig right now I'd like someone that can just like 100 percent this I'll settle for 89. Contract room. I want other objects in here. What else we got? Decor. This is who you're signing a contract with, that man. You're not signing a contract with whoever's sitting in this chair. Come on, you're getting texts. Ooh. 
I forgot my buddy needs to borrow my one of my pong tables. Hmm. I need a reply to that, actually. I wish I had two of the same candle. Could everyone quit getting injured? Thanks. I'm over here decorating. Can we all just, I don't know, chill out a little? Social. Nice. They did successfully do it. Uh, retail's your other one. As I'm over here talking about retail. Hit that fast forward. What? What are the other exclamation points? I don't, oh. Skull candle. Maximum faith increase doesn't matter anymore. Pool of revelations. Go go pool your revelations, baby. Uh where are you right there? Alright, guys, I think we might call it here. So this is gonna be uh end or at least a pause to this series. I really appreciate your time and viewership. I really appreciate you guys supporting this series so much. I feel like it's been a really good one for us in the channel. Uh, make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss any more content. Uh, I have... It's probably already out at this point. Never mind. Eh, it might not be. Uh, go check out uh, my Jurassic World series. Jurassic World 2. I believe there is a series of that coming out. And if there is, I'll name the animals or the workers after you guys if you comment on those videos and i'll mention that there if it allows me to uh but i really appreciate your time and viewership and really blowing up this series this is one of my channel's most successful series ever thank you so much i really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart i'm loving you too and i'm loving the channel and it's doing well it's doing well we're on our road to a thousand we're almost there. I think we're at like 870 or something right now. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting this series. And I hope I see all of you guys in that next series. Bye, guys.